Every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden stops by with some great advice. Today, he's talking all about the do's and don'ts of planting. Well, after a beautiful, what, week or so of, of warm weather, probably warmer, obviously, than it normally is, we're kind of back to normal. But a lot of planting has started, so there's certainly some things you, sh you should be able to plant and some things not so much. So early, early season uh, veggies, cabbage, you know, broccoli, all that, that can go in. But when you get into tomatoes and peppers and stuff, now it's really too early. Now you say, well, why do we have them? Well, a lot of people, you know, when they go against the, uh, or the, the great American uh, tomato growing is they upsize these. They'll start growing them in a pot, have them so they can pull them in when it gets cold. And then when the temperatures and it's, it's time, they have a bigger plant. So that's why, but just because you see it in a garden center doesn't mean that it is safe to put it in, all right? So, but uh, people like to do, you know, people get excited. Now, the other thing is when, what you can plant is all the trees, the shrubs, but the, the warning here is these two plants are the same, okay? This is an Itea. Uh, this one came from Ohio. This one came from Oklahoma. So you can kind of see the difference in their climate further along. So a little careful, it's not gonna die, but if we got a hard freeze, not frost, but freeze, those could probably, those blooms could probably get damaged. So just kind of be aware of when it doesn't look like that in our landscape, it might be kind of time. So uh, the freeze-free date is the 20th. So we're right at the freeze-free date. Then the frost-free is actually in May, early May. You know, I've heard the 10th, and then people say around Mother's Day, right? So that's safe. But a few tips on planting. So this is an arborvitae. This is probably the number one plant that gets warrantied in a garden center because it's very shallow rooted. So if you're planting like this, we call this, you know, I don't like my neighbor plant, or it's just a great way to screen something that's pretty inexpensively. You know, you stack them side by side. And if you ever drive by and you see where 25 of them, you know, they have 25 out there and 15 of them are dead. One thing, these need a lot of water. They're very shallow rooted. So you have to water them. So if you're planning on putting up a screen, the first year, that first growing season, you have got to pile the water on them. Because again, they weren't, when you see 15 dead ones, it wasn't because they were defective generally, it is because they lacked water. So remember that if you're uh, doing the, uh, the arbs because they take a lot. But regular growing like a tree like this, this is a crab, the, uh, the rule of thumb, and this is very important, is that you dig the hole twice the size of here. So you wanna be out here. Too many times we dig the hole the same, and what you do is you kind of create a little clay basin because we know we have very clay soil and the water can sit on there. What you want to do is we, we want this, this tree to establish itself in our environment and get the roots to go out. And when we, when we dig that little clay basin, what can happen is the roots can go around and circle and actually girdle. So we dig it out and then we could even go farther and we kind of chop it up a little bit. This right here, adding soil is a bit controversial. It's the same thing. Whatever the soil is there needs to go back in. You can mix a little bit in with that. Uh, but remember, if same thing, if it's too soft, the roots are gonna be lazy and they're gonna go around. And then whenever you plant, whether it's trees, shrubs, or anything, get Biotone. This is a great product. You mix it right in the soil and it will increase your chance that that plant is going to live.